I use markers inside Adobe Premiere Pro to help build my story and I wanna show you how I do that in this video. Internet, welcome back. It's Robert Teagarden here again with another video. If you're new here, welcome. I post content on a weekly basis for filmmaking tips and the business of being a creative, if that's something you're into. Hope you stick around and you know maybe join the community and see me uh, a little bit more often. You know, But today, I'm working on uh, what I hope is going to be a fantastic story. This is a story of Casey Mitchell, who is a amputee, served in the military, and has now been chasing several strongman records for an amputee. This year, he's going to be trying to be the first amputee to deadlift 700 pounds. Some pretty serious shit. What I'm doing now is building the story off our interview that we have with him, and I'm going through different sections of what that story looks like, his military service, what led up to this injury, and what happened afterwards. And there's a lot of stuff. We interviewed him for over 40 minutes, and I'm trying to condense this down into bite-sized chunks so that I can stay organized. Now, the first thing I do when I'm recording sequences where there's a lot of talking head or a lot of dialogue is transcribe my sequence. Uh, I use Rev for this, but there are several other programs that you can use. Uh, but it's really helpful for me to see the dialogue in a long form so that I can kind of highlight sections and put them in order that way. And I know kind of what I'm looking for and I can hunt down the timestamps of what that looks like. There are also ways of integrating transcriptions inside of Premiere Pro with extensions. And I know that Rev is actually working on a way of taking that transcription and putting it inside of Premiere so that you can simply just highlight an area and it'll take you immediately to that. That place in the sequence it's not here yet as far as i know that's something i'm looking forward to but that's the first step the next thing is as i'm watching through my footage i start to use markers in order to identify big chunks of that sequence and big chunks of my story it's a pretty simple process even though it just took me two minutes to lay that up and here's how i'm doing this as I'm inside Premiere, you can start to see that as I'm looking through this footage, I can see that these individual sections are things that I want to denote so that I can kind of have different markers or chapters for my story. Now, the way that I get this is actually using markers in a very unique way. So if you don't know, you can use a marker by simply pressing M on your keyboard and it places this little marker color here. Now, a lot of times what I've seen in younger editors is that it's just littered with markers all over the place and it doesn't really have any type of relevance or identification in terms of why that marker is there. Now there's simple ways of using markers that I'm sure you guys have adopted and it works fine, but for this thing particular to the story, this is how I would use this. Now I can double tap on this marker and you start to see this different marker box that's pulled up. Now I can put a name here like this marker is for YouTube. And then the cool thing here is when I click that, you can start to see that that pops up inside my timeline. So at least I have some sort of identification of what that marker's for as I hover over it with my mouse. But wait, there's more. As I double click on this again, you'll see the time that that marker is instilled on. However, you also see this duration. If I start to pull this to the left or to the right, you'll see that this thing increases in size. And what's really interesting is that it starts to put brackets up for however long a period of time I put in that duration. Don't worry, if you just kind of put something there arbitrarily, you can grab that right side of the marker and move it to a particular point in your sequence, making it so that what you have here is now visible and it kind of spans a period of time. You can also do this to your left side and kind of originating things where you want them to be. It also snaps to the grid of various edit points, just like you would if you're moving footage back and forth. Pretty darn cool. If I want to do anything else, I can double click on this thing again. I can change the color of what that marker is going to look like. For instance, if I wanted to denote that that was part of a different section, right? Maybe I have color coded for different chapters of my story. I could do that. I can go back in here. I'm gonna change this again. I can make it a chapter marker, a segment marker. I can actually attach that marker to a web link. Perhaps you're using stock footage or other footage that's hyperlinked to a particular drive. You can put that web link in there and leave notes for any future editors or producers to be able to see what you're doing in that side. You can also put comments for other people to review. 
this whole dialog box is really interesting and there's a lot of potential where this thing is concerned but what i'm using it for like i said are just basically chapter markers and kind of spanning a particular time frame one last thing i wanted to mention is that instead of just simply double clicking on this little section of markers you can actually double tap on the m key and it'll bring up this dialog box as well you also want to be careful about not having any media selected when you hit m because if you do that you're going to be making a marker on the clip rather than the sequence and this particular one is just markers for the sequence otherwise you won't be able to see what these marker titles look like when you expand them in duration now why this again is kind of cool for me is that i can go back in chunks and at a very bird's eye view 10,000 of you look at my sequence and go cool here's all of the sections that are about when his tank got blown up here are the sections that talk about him getting amputated here are the positioning sections and where he was relisting those sorts of things that i put as my chapter markers when i'm building this story so it's something that i've used for the last several years and i was just in this edit doing it now and i thought that that's something that you guys might get some value out of as well with that being said if you like the video like the damn video we're talking about markers which is definitely kind of in the weeds in terms of what this editing process looks like but if you're looking for this and something else leave it down in the comments below and let me know what you're looking for if you found this video of value you know what go i just throw it out there go ahead and hit the subscribe button ring the bell for post notifications so that you can join the t guard community and kind of hang out with us a little bit more often and with that one uh, being said ladies and germs this is a t garden quick tip tutorial in the can i'll see you guys next week peace